Hi guys, welcome back to Engineer's YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I will be your host for today's video. And for today's video, we will be focusing on the ideal gas law and we will solve a problem regarding that. So the problem states that a cylinder containing 15 liters of helium gas at a pressure of 165 atmosphere is to be used to fill 40 balloons. Each balloon must be filled to a volume of 2 liters at a pressure of 1.1 atmosphere. What is the maximum number of balloons that can be inflated? Assume that the gas in the cylinder is at the same temperature as the inflated balloons. And there's a hint. It, sa it says that the empty cylinder will still contain helium at 1.1 atmosphere. So basically, what this uh, question is telling us is that meron kang tanke. And uh, sa tanke na yun, may helium sa loob, may hangin. And then, kailangan mong mag-fill ng lobo na tig to 2 liters ang laki ng bawat isa. So, ang tanong, ilang 2 liter balloon can you, can you fill up using the air inside the tank? Okay? So, how do we quantify for air? We cannot use pressure, not use volume, we cannot use temperature because these are properties of air. But how do we quantify? How do we count air? Actually, we can't because we, we can't see air, nga, diba? it's invisible. But we can use the number of moles to count for how much air is inside some something. Right? Do you agree? Yeah. So, yan ang ano natin. Kukunin mo yung number of um, moles dun sa tank. And then after that, you calculate for the number of moles inside each balloon. And then after you've gotten both the number of moles, it is divide mo kung ilan yung magagawa sa, sa tank. Eh. Okay? So, ayan. For example, you have a tank here. Ayan, yung tank mo. And then you're gonna make Balloons. Right? Balloons. And another balloon. And this one is 2 liters each at 1.1 atm. And this one, meron siyang um, volume of 15 liters. And meron siyang pressure na 165 ATM. But there's a hint na meron siyang um, nung empty cylinder will still contain helium at 1.1. So you have to deduct this value para makuha mo yung pressure ng helium lang mismo without the cylinder or the container. So ayan. So the first thing that we have to do is find the number of moles. Find the number of moles of the air inside the tank. The helium inside the tank. Find the number of moles of helium inside the tank. And then after that, find the number of moles of um helium inside each balloon and then finally divide but how do we know which one to divide by which for example you have for example you have your pizza pizza and then somebody asks you to slice slices that are this big let's say it has a, a um it has a hypothetical size a and then the your your pizza the size of your pizza the total size of your pizza is let's say p how do you find the number of slices that you can make um, using um, with this much or this big of a slice. 
you you divide the um the the um size the, the entire size of the pizza with the size of each individual slices am i correct so oh yeah so what you do is you divide p by a right so you know the logic behind this if you take the total number of moles inside the tank and then you divide by the number of moles of each balloon to find how many balloons you can make with that amount of air inside the tank. So, in your logic behind this problem. So, how do we uh, account for the number of moles? We take PV is equals to NRT. So, for the tank, first, we have the tank. Yung, ito yung PT ng tank. And then this one is the volume of the tank. But actually, I have to minus 1.1 1 .1 here. Okay. And then this one is the volume of the balloon. And then this one is the pressure of the balloon. Okay. Just for reference. So for the tank, using PV and RT, we know that PT times VT is equal to N, number of moles inside the tank, times R and T. And even though we don't have a value for T, makaka-cancel siya later and you'll see. So, yung T constant siya. Either, and it's the same for either, for both the tank and the balloon. So, making N the subject of the equation, we know that N, number of moles inside the tank, is N T is equals to PV, PT, VT over RT. Correct? And now, for the balloon, for the individual balloons, so we have balloon, we have pressure of the balloon, volume of the balloon is equal to the number of moles of each balloon, and then RT. So calculating for the number of moles inside each balloon, we have and is equals to PB RT. Ah, sorry. PB, VB, over RT. So this is step one. This is step two. Right? Step one, step two. And on step three natin I we divide. So how do we divide? We take NT by NB. And we know that NT is equals to PT, VT over RT. And then this is the main fraction bar. We have PB, VB over RT. And we can see here na makakancel yung RT. Kasi pareho siyang nasa denominator. Both here and in here. So makakancel siya. So we can deduct na... Uh, NT divided by NB, which is the total number of balloons that can be made with that um, amount of helium inside the tank, is equivalent to PT VT over PB VB. And this is equals to the number of balloons that can be inflated. Right? So, what we do now is we just substitute. We know that um, PT is equal to 165 minus 1.1. And then this one is in ATM. You have, you have to remember to minus because this hint is there for a reason. It's a hint kahit may empty yung... Um, yung laman ng cylinder, ma-empty ma lahat ng helium doon, napunta sa lahat sa balloon, there will still be a pressure doon sa um, tanke mismo. And we have to account that pressure when we're calculating here. Kasi yung pressure na yun ay hindi naman mapupunta doon sa balloon. It will still remain in the tank. So, ayan. And then yung volume, which is um, 15 liters 
over yung PB natin, yung pressure of each individual balloon is 1.1 atm. And then the volume of each balloon is 2 liters. Okay? So if you do unit cancellations, you know that the ATM will cancel as well as the liters. So yung number of balloons mo, it's actually unitless. Kasi ilang balloon, di mo namang sinasabing tatlo atmosphere na balloon, no? You just say, how many? So you say, hey, you just say a digit without a unit. Okay? So, ayan. Calculating, we have 165 minus 1.1 <coughs> times 15. Then you divided by 1.1 times 2. We have 1,117.5 balloons. And you can round it off because maximum, diba? <laughs> it still account for the um, half balloon that you created. So you will have 1,118 balloons maximum that you can inflate with that amount of helium inside the tank. So that is our answer for the problem. Um, I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.